Hi guys, Ticker 536 in another video for you today. Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can mod your BIOS. So, um, it's really useful if you want to unlock a certain feature like overclocking or fan control speed, or if you just want updated to get the newest firmware on your um, for your BIOS in case the manufacturer's released anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to BIOSmods.com. Here's a URL here, and the link is also in the description for this. And so... Um, there's a few things which it says here but I've, I've shortened it down so it says really don't do it if you don't want to unlock a specific feature or you're not doing it for a specific reason um, so uh, you should not put your computer in any one unwanted risk and only do this if you have a good understanding of your computer so what you want to do is find out which BIOS you have so here you go here's um, you want to find out whether you got uh, Award, AMI or Phoenix and if it doesn't show you that then you want to go and go and t get Everest or CPU ID and find out with that. So um, there are two types, there's one click solution, so if you're new can use computers it's really quick It's really quick and easy, you just click on it and it takes you through it and then the second one is a manual update or mod. Um, so it's a wider range of options like mods and um, means you can change your bias a lot more, but much more difficult to do, it requires a lot more skill and um, takes a longer time and also more dangerous. So, um, if you need a BIOS image, um, post in the form, uh, or for any other inquiries, because um, the form is really useful, just click there, the forum's um, one of the most useful things on this site. Also, there's the wiki, if you're unsure of what something means, because you've got to know what everything means, um, because otherwise you could do something bad. And so, yeah, if you, fully, if you follow the steps on this page exactly, um, you will be able to successfully mod your BIOS. Um, and if you don't do that, then you may brick your BIOS, so be careful when you're doing this, and just think whether you really need to do it. Is it really necessary, or are you doing something which is a bit stupid? So guys, if this video helped you, please like and subscribe, and if you've got any questions, stick them in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.